right, so DNF Duel got another trailer. I'm actually kind of uh, intimidated and surprised that these guys are pumping out trailers as fast as they are, right? It's a little weird that now a year after nothing and a little bit of uh, just a little sprinkle of information, they start throwing out trailer after trailer. And I'm assuming we're gonna get one for uh, fighter slash judo guy or something like that. But yeah, these are shockingly, r r disgustingly short. In pure Arc System Works fashion, uh, they are disgustingly short and they're gonna show very little other than the fact that, hey, a game is still being made, you know? Hey, hey, we, so we swear to God, there is a game in here. So I'm still not convinced that it is, uh, it is a full game that is going to be realized and real. I'm not convinced yet. I hope it's true. Inquisitor. Inquisitor ax wielding, dang, oh wow. The moveset's actually kind of dope. What the hell is this pain wheel? Oh my god, and it's gonna be the same thing we saw a year ago? Yes, it is. Yeah, it looks cool. You're doing a good job, aiding. You're, you're doing a very good job, aiding. We have to remember who gets who gets the props in this situation. It'd be the guys making the game, the folks that are putting it together. That is aiding, indeed. Uh, it looks quite good. You know, I'm actually super curious between the relationship of Arc System Works and aiding, in terms of the visual style. If like Arxis was a consultant or something like that, if they're designing the gameplay and aiding is putting it together. Very curious because aiding is essentially a uh, development team. That's usually how they act. I think Inquisitor looks kind of awesome. I do like big giant specials, you know? But once again, I, it, it looks to be like mostly the same thing. Button, 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 like relative auto combo, light, medium, heavy, into special cancel, into, you know, multi specials. Light, medium, heavy. Or actually, no, this is even more. This is it. She's doing more stuff. Wait, 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 wait a minute. One, two, three, four. Nice! Okay, good! So like crouching attacks, launching attacks, stuff like that, there's actually way more than the super basic stuff we were seeing with Berserker earlier. And she has, this is curious, there's a fire state. There's a, what the hell was that? Was that like an oil thing? This special is amazing. Like, holy crap. How cool is that? It all looks very good. It's just unfortunate how fast it happens. Painful friggin' part is how quickly all this shit just flies by. Because once we get to this spot, this is all just the, the cinematic we saw from last year. Pretty much the same thing. Yeah, she could be throwing holy water or something like that. I don't know. I do really dig uh, the size of some of these, like, amped specials. Some of these, like, super specials. We were seeing the same thing that was happening with uh, with Berserker earlier. And uh, I, I, they visually look very good. The one thing that we're not seeing at all is any kind of mobility, right? We're not seeing any kind of, like, movement of characters outside of, like, relative dashing. Maybe a back dash? It's all attacking in these trailers. Yeah, it's got running... I don't even know if we've technically seen an air dash yet. Maybe with the uh, the judo guy? Maybe with the judo guy? I don't know. These are now the things I'm most curious about. We're actually getting to the part where uh, where this game is, is, is starting to hit that KOF 15 element, where they're showing off stuff and now they're getting into the individual character by character trailer. And we don't know the mechanics, right? We don't know anything about how the game technically plays. And it's up to, like, us to figure out, okay, so how is the game functioning? How are they integrating all this stuff from the mobile game along it with already being a, uh, like, an Arxis game, even an aiding game? And how's that all gonna feel, you know? Once again, the biggest, the biggest craziest part of that is right here, is the fact that it isn't just Arc System Works making the game. It's these guys. It's aiding. I really hope this is their, uh, this is their comeback to, to fighting games, or to at least, like, double-A slash, like, larger-scaled fighting games. Yeah, I mean, I think it looks really good. I think it looks great, and there's plenty of other characters that could potentially be really cool. I want, I want to see the gunslinger guy. Check out how the Inquisitor looks in the original 
Dungeon Fighter Online RPG. Ooh, they're cross-promoting? They are cross-promoting. Wow. So just for comparison's sake, right? Damn, this game has been around... By the way, when, when I was working on a game um, before I was a content creator, this game was one of the competitors that I had to play and, and, and investigate some of their, uh, uh, what's it called? Some of their online dealings, like how they were managing some of their subsystems online. Not even gameplay stuff, but like, uh, like uh, things of the nature of like payment methods and how they were utilizing international payment methods, all that kind of stuff. So I had to investigate a whole bunch of that stuff with like the competitors. And this, this was what I remember seeing. And it's crazy that, like, this is still a game that's super popular, like, friggin' 12 years later. It's essentially like a dungeon romping Dynasty Warriors, right? Multi-scale RPG like Dynasty Warriors? Oh, there's the... the the relation to... I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I think what's going on in the Arc System Works one looks a bit more readable and a bit better. Um, but this is a very old game, right? This shit has been around for a hell of a long time. A beat-em-up MMO? It was probably one of the first few to start that, you know? An actual beat-em-up, like, co-op MMO game? Super fascinating. I'm wondering... If they're planning on pumping these out until the next actual big gameplay video, because we're getting, what, like one a week now? I think the last one was Berserker was maybe, if not a week ago. It's got sick combos, so you fucks with it. I get it. Yeah, that's what a lot of people always talk about. The, it's not the visuals of uh, DNF, or I'm sorry, DFO, that really get people interested. It's actually the, the gameplay mechanics. It's all like the crazy nutty stuff that you can do uh, within the game. Which is, uh, which is hopefully the thing that carries over into the final game, you know? Anyway, I think Gunslinger is probably the one character I'm the most curious about seeing how their, uh, gameplay, how his gameplay is gonna be. And, uh, yeah, and I'm kind of willing to be surprised about the other classes that will be added and who they're going to be throwing in. Should be pretty fascinating. I hope, let's hope this game actually comes out next year. <laughs> By that next year, I don't mean this year, I mean 2022. Let's hope this is an actual 2022 release.